Today, we're going to check out some more Bungo Stray Dogs, so let's jump into it. Bungo reveal. But before we do, if you're interested in more Bungo Stray Dogs reactions, maybe consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And if you like this video, then like and comment, because that helps a ton too. You can find the full link as well as exclusives over on Patreon. Get the fuck out! And she checked her mirrors and everything? What? What the fuck? And I'm assuming the roots can stop them. Yep. That's crazy. Those are fast moving roots. I am Groot. Wait, how the fuck did... How did they get all the way over here? I don't know. Okay, like, I understand that part. I, I get that. You didn't have to explain it. I don't know how the fuck you got all the way over here, bro. Just teleport through the vine? That's a big-ass family, bro. Then how about we kill your sister, bitch? Enter the Matrix. Ouch. Alright, first of all, I'm pretty sure they can fit through those, like, areas. That man on the floor ain't dead either. Also, can't he just bring up new vines to stop them and, like, fucking come up from underneath them, grab them, and throw them off the side? Like, what? He's already touching trees, isn't he? Through the roots in the ground. Oh, you better reach into this man's neck and yank out that seed. The other guy's gonna get up. Here he is. The Matrix! He like some kind of zombie or something? What is this? What the fuck? Oh, is, did Lovecraft make like a thousand leagues or something? I don't know. Look like some octopus shit though. Maybe not. I don't know. Through the trees? Are y'all... Y'all wild? What is this shit? <laughs> Level up. It's time to enter the Matrix. I hope one day you find out just how hurtful the things you say are. No, not Trucku. Truckoon. Time to get Isekai, bitch. Yeah, she don't give a fuck. Oh, oh, okay, no, he's saying fuck morals. Damn, dude. Oh, that's, what? Okay, uh, come on, dude. That's, that's the damage that, what, what was that, dude? They just, like, they got bumped. So they're just like, oh, no, boom, ah! That was dumb. Girl, you better fucking leap. Kind of scary, not gonna lie. And they're totally fine. It did not look like he took that level of damage. I'm locked up. I like it. Good. Bro, that is a demon child, bro. Kill it right now with fire. Oh nah, that is a demon child, bro. I don't, I don't like any, any. Part, any listen, dude, if a kid's carrying a creepy doll with them, no. Ah, yeah, dude. He the OG, OG. Now look at her. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know she was a girl either. I never really consider considered their identity. Like their uh, gender identity. How did you dumb motherfuckers? I'm so confused. How did you dumb motherfuckers think this was your friend? The person with the creepy doll and the weird eyes. 
You thought that was your friend? Like, oh, we made a new friend. Mind control. She's over here like, why are you explaining it to me? Like, I, I know, like, we were, like, he's with us. I know this shit. No. I mean, maybe she doesn't. You know, he was locked up. He did say he was in prison, so. Oh, stop. It's not even your fucking fault, bro. You're literally being mind controlled. Yes, does I kill that little shithead? I'm down with it, man. No capture, kill on sight. I mean, I would have jumped on the train right then and there to do it, but okay. This man is broken. Help him out. Slap him. Get your shit together, Atsushi. <laughs> there you go. Get it together. Listen to me, Atsushi. <laughs> Wait, 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 what's your trump card? Oh, wait, is he bringing in the dude from the first four episodes? Not Oda, because Oda died, but the other one. It is him! Oh! <laughs> Let's go! Uh, yeah, dude, he got fucking sma- Oh, no. Ooh. Ooh. Kyoka! <gasps> Time to give her a call. Kyoka. Kyoka. Wait, wait, is she with them? Wait, is she with them? What is that? What is that? What is that? Next. Oh no, she's not with them. Oh. Man, she cut his shit a little bit, bro. There's not a lot between this and like the actual like the windpipe or I don't even I don't a soft I don't know the fucking terms for this but it's, 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 there's a very small amount of like skin and shit before you hit like dude pressing on my throat right there makes me gag <laughs> but like there's a very small amount between that and like the thing underneath it so if she sliced it's got to be so 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 surface level or she cut his shit and then I don't know how he's talking but you know it's anime they have superpowers so Uh, he is uh, he is her only chan he wants he just wants to look out for her and she wants to look out for him it's cute i don't know i don't even think they actually have like that kind of bond it doesn't or at least the anime doesn't give off like a sibling bond between them it gives off like um a, a teammate bond like an overall like group family bond but not like family family you know i don't know i don't know how to describe it i don't know if i'm even making sense next or skip the intro whatever <clears throat> It was Americans. The Americans attacked us. Damn, bro, you can't serial murder him. Wait, chill, chill, chill. Dude, she needs to learn how to, like, do her, like, crazy cool murder shit, but, like, without murdering and without cutting people. And instead, she just, like, Knocks their gun away. Who is that? Wait, who's the guy? Wait, who's the old man next to him? Is that supposed to be like um, Mark Twain or some shit? Did Mark Twain? I think he just had like... <sighs> Ouchies? What the fuck is this, bro? Tom Sawyer? Oh, oh, he's Mark Twain. Okay, of course he is. Huck Finn and Tom Sawyer. Herman? 
Oh, he's the thousand leagues under the sea, right? Moby Dick. Wait, oh, okay. Wait, is Moby Dick different? What? What is What is a thousand leagues? Oh, that's totally different. Oh, it's 20,000 leagues. Okay. I don't read, guys. Oh, also, it's French. It's not a, it's not a, I knew that. Moby Dick. <clears throat> oh, and that's where the whale comes in. The whale that we saw in the, in the OP. Okay. This man creates a whale that like just goes around places and shit. A flying whale. And it turns invisible. Oh, that is broken, dude. <gasps> no, Kyoka. He'll be back for you. Don't worry. I feel like he. Oh, what kind of Cthulhu shit? Oh, he do some. He do some Cthulhu shit. He defeated the little kid. Oh, okay, hold on, bro. What is this guy? Who is this motherfucker, bro? That's crazy. Lovecraft, Howard Filler Phillips Lovecraft. Best known for his creation of the Cthulhu mythos. Oh, didn't he do something else? I feel like I recognize that name, HP Lovecraft. There's gotta be something else that he did. Hey, somebody let me know in the comments. What is he like very well known for? But yeah, dude, he just clapped a little, the, the, the kid, dude. That's crazy. He literally turns into Cthulhu. So I was right when I thought it was octopus tentacles and shit coming out when he initially fought. I was like, hmm, octopus, a, a, ten, a thousand leagues, under, but I meant 20,000 leagues under the sea. Uh, Cause don't they fight a giant octopus in that shit? I really like the way that, that everything is drawn in this. The art style for this is really fucking good, dude. Oh. That man's mind was destroyed long ago. Damn, that's crazy. Because the way that Dazai talked about Q, it was like, oh shit. They unleashed a demon. This is scary. No, maybe there's somebody else that's a little scarier. Doc, I'll fucking enjoy any cruise on a Moby Dick. Oh. Oh. Oh, she the one from the end of season one, right? The tiger beetle, the guidepost? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why are we burning down the city? What are you doing? Hmm. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, uh, little Q. Actually, you know what? Fuck you, Q. I don't, I don't feel anything for you. I don't care. Little demon child. Isn't everyone equal in the eyes of the Lord? Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Yo, they talk a lot about God in this. It's kind of odd. I mean, I understand the, the one, like, the reverend guy. You know, I understand him. Because that's like his, that's his shtick. No, that's his thing. You know, he's he's like a reverend. But then everything, like all the other ones are kind of odd. Is that like a recurring theme in in uh, Bungo Stray Dogs? This is a very literature heavy series. Damn, bro. That's really hurtful. Well, how do you hurt the tree? I'm a little confused, right? Like tripping on, on, on roots? Oh no, he did not just do it. 20% of the population of this city? <laughs> Privileged? Bitch, you don't even know him. Relate to her, now she's... <laughs> Yes. Maybe. How about I show you these scars? Oh, 
She's like, damn. We're the same. <laughs> she, <laughs> she like presses her face right up against the glass of the door. He just like me. <laughs> he just like me for real. <laughs> You gotta free him. Like, when you see he just like you for real, like, come on. Oh, truth. Man, he got that tiger power. He gonna leap off the fucking Moby dick. He gonna leap off the dick. Is it the same book that Oda? Is it the Oda book? It's the Oda book, right? You should join us! Be our friend! With your creepy ass little fucking dollhouse shit, bro. Yay! Oh, okay, never mind. He didn't get pushed out. Oh, he got pushed out the door. She gonna die, bro. Oh, did I not recognize? Is this the goat? Kana Hanazawa? It is! Oh, dude, I can catch her voice anywhere now. Her voice is like... In, like I just I, I recognize it now. I gotta I gotta I gotta memorize everybody else's names. All the other goats' names. They're protecting. Ouch. No, you're useful. Come on. Wake up. Damn, dude. Kind of depressing. He's got the puppet? Where's the puppet? Where's the puppet? Oh, there you go. There you go. Damn, dude. You gotta find Dazai! Dazai! Just scream until he realizes? Dude, they're all like zombies. Whoa. Oh, you cannot lose the damn puppet, my guy. Is it though? Oh, there's the puppet. Okay, cool. How many, how many chances are you gonna get? This is like a, an, uh, like a defining episode for Atsushi. No? Come on. Atsushi, no. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? Dazai! What? Ah, uh, Dazai just believed in him. He believed in Atsushi, dude. I love it. Wait, I don't remember Dazai fucking up his arm. Did we miss something? I'm trying to remember, I don't, I don't remember him fucking up his hand. Port City, right? To help them? Uh, yeah, Port Mafia, I mean. Port, I don't know why I always want to call them Port City Mafia. Oh, is that two episodes? Did we just go through two episodes? Okay, that was good. That was good. It didn't feel like two episodes. Wow, that was fast. Okay, so damn, just a lot happened, honestly. So first and foremost, we got introduced to two members of the guild. Um, one guy, don't remember his name, but he had the ability, ability to create, like he could take seeds and, and then turn them into trees and stuff. And then he can connect to all of the trees in the area. And they end up using that in like a grander scheme um, by capturing Q, who we also see, uh, Q has the ability to take damage by from people and then as a result, control them. Like basically you hurt Q, you get controlled by Q and, and manipulated and, and like you kind of turn into Q's little zombie. Now, tree stuff, right? That stuff is handled pretty easily by Kunikita and Tanizaki. Uh, they they managed to de defeat those guys and we also get to eventually see the other guys power HP Lovecraft I think his name is something like that <laughs> JP Lovecraft. I don't know. Anyways, uh, essentially that's the author that created the Cthulhu mythos And so this man ha he turns into Cthulhu. He has like a C Cthulhu powers, which is crazy So there's a Cthulhu power guy. There's a tree guy uh, and then we also meet Q which I already mentioned then our boy comes in contact with Kyoka again, which is great. Except they also get separated again. It's like 
Fuck, man. Kyoka gets captured by the police, which is really bad. Atsushi gets captured by the guild. Now, through all of their shit, they come up with this plan using Q in order to like fuck up everybody in the in the Yokohama, like in that town, city, whatever. Atsushi ends up bonding with the girl that he met at the end of the first season, whose name I don't remember, but I do remember that she's the voice of uh, her. She's voiced by Kana Hanazawa, so that's cool. Um, yeah, they end up bonding over the fact that they were orphans and stuff and they've been through a lot of shit and now they are, she helps him. She helps him to get out so that way she can get, he can get to Dazai so that way they can like d destroy the plan. And this was their like, this was their, their like last resort plan that ends up getting defeated. Though it isn't like completely stopped because they still have Q. They can still like basically do it again. So I'd say the biggest stuff in this is just obviously the bonding between Atsushi and the red haired girl. Again, don't remember her name. She... They bonded over the, the the shit that they went through as as young kids and being orphans and stuff. And now I think that they they I feel like she could potentially leave the guild and join the agency, maybe, potentially, possibly, we'll see. But I like that. I also like how Dazai enlists Ango to help him, even though that doesn't really turn. Oh, that's how he fucked up his arm. The car. I totally forgot about the car crash. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, of course, Dazai's ability to just like like nullify abilities love that shit i'll always i'll always tell you guys how much i love that ability because he's able to end all this q shit instantly he's able to stop anybody essentially as long as he can get within that that close quarters range to touch them and i'm really interested in finding out what's gonna happen to kyoka because now that she's been captured kind of scary also i want to see more of the cthulhu guy lovecraft doing his thing good couple episodes the stakes are really high in this one this season is like much like crazier than the first season with that said i would love to know what you thought about these episodes down in the comments below and as always if you enjoyed the video then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one and until next time make sure you all keep it fresh peace